zero. So let's find out as we head right into the battle. There's EG. They're going to smoke up here as five and get themselves beyond the river as fast as humanly possible. Yeah, again, just kind of holding map. Don't really want to fight on either team. I think for EG especially, they just really want to get to their lanes without anything happening because if they give away a first blood to nothing for to say or something things can go very wrong for their game plan still hanging around um the jungle meanwhile <laughs> see smile chris look dancing around in the river there with the rest of lgd looking upon him they have themselves a really nice observer ward though, LGD. Literally sitting right on top of it, C-Smile is. Almost. Do spot out the cards here. Much. Still just a bit of scouting. Look at the wards from LGD. That's so interesting. Just want to kind of protect their stacks. I think it's might be for the Phoenix to stack from the low ground, actually, that ward. Mm, possibly, actually. Is that with Icarus dive, or can he reach that with uh, physical attacks? You can hit it from the left, or from the right on the way to the rune. Oh, right, okay. Just pray to God that you, uh... Don't miss. You don't get what's it called. Oh, they actually get the, uh, the range creep top already. They take it out as it was traveling. Top lane, so they already get the range creep. I've seen this before from... I, I feel like it was Tundra, I might be wrong. They just... Oh, it was Gaming actually. So this helps you push in the wave even more and... It's kind of hard to pressure Timber when this happens because he just has waves on you. And if you see, Pakaz is the one that's kind of getting pressured here. Yeah, and it's all that more troublesome, especially with the fact that... Obviously, of course, as a carry, you want to be trying to focus these last hits and not try and miss all of the waves to get in some harassment and dish out the damage so news more than happy to miss a few creeps here in order to punish the carry heavily here and yeah, meanwhile bot lane y just forced to tp out got gailed she has been oh, yeah. oh, yeah. living alone for a bit still only level one though at the moment on this top hopefully level two should come soon, and then we get ourselves reactive armor. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, mid lane, C -smile. gosh, very fire has to be committed there onto uh, C smile. And look at this, they maybe turn it around here on the top lane. The battle strike comes out, it will cancel that sun ray. And look at that first blood on the timber saw. That's a very interesting spell to learn. I feel like level one sun ray is probably one of the worst spells in Dota. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure myself. I, I, I don't. I don't want to uh, cause any disrespect here, but um, I, I'm sure Sunray doesn't even deal that much damage. At level one. It does not. It's kind of bad. I, even dive is uh, actually. I don't know about dive, but uh, it's uh, maybe a misspell. I don't know. Maybe just feeling like he can't land fire spirits, helping his timber keep healthy, push out lane. Do nothing yeah, to say. It's owning mid lane. I know, I was about to say that as well. You see, uh, see Smile here, Chris Lock, having some unfortunate skirmishes here with nothing to say. He's actually doing really well. Was able to achieve his bottle first. I mean, the bottle will now finally come for the Shadow Fiend. So we're going to be able to heal up. I think we'll have to use maybe perhaps two charges there. Yeah. This lane will oh, get so harder for Nighting Stay, but he is getting a lot more out of it than I would have expected. This SF matchup is. I think you were expected to kind of dumpster the Ember bot lane. Oh, that's a big power shot. Why that may fall here. Hit. Yeah, why will fall? Those Shiro pursuing Whisper right now. But the Bash is there. The Maledict will finish off the Venomancer. Oh, the Lotus, the battle. Matthew gets it. That's not too bad for Shiro. Gets a good trade. Why will come back with some regen for him as well. Lane, interestingly, new has not actually put any um, points into the reactive armor here. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of it's normal against time. Monkey King because you want to just get last hits for him, push the wave. Yeah, in. I guess. Yeah, so you're trying to... He's actually yeah. opting to go with Vanguard as well. Yeah, if you have this right click battle with reactive armor, he's just gonna get Jingu all the time and deny all your creeps, and you're gonna be very sad. That makes sense. Bad for the rune. I don't know if you saw on the. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture it, but on the mid lane, nothing to say was actually able to dodge a raise by just getting a slat of fist there off onto uh, C Smart when obtaining the water rune there, so. I have to say, really. Dishing out the skills here, though. Panda also being chased off there in the jungle. The planet. He's feeling it. Man, I'm looking at these like last hits, and I feel like Eiji's draft is already crum crumbling. The Venomancer has the same CS as Shiro. Shiro has one kill, obviously. His Timur is top CS, kind of close to the Monkey King, and nothing to say he's just still taking the lead in the mid lane. I feel like Eiji has to do way better than this video draft. If you get the uh, the courier kill there, Shiro won't be able to finish off the magic wand. So I guess that's somewhat helpful. The gale comes out on bottom. Shiro gonna have to use the time walk there on bottom. Meanwhile, there's actually action on top lane as well. New will be able to use the timber chain there. Is the Jingu damage enough? Yes, it is. They will find a kill top. Meanwhile, on the bottom though, which uh, we're looking at as well, and also a kill into the mid lane as well with the dive there from Planet and nothing to say. Three points into Flame God, interestingly, finds the kill. Yeah, nice rotation from Planet. You do get two kills in the side lanes, though, so that's pretty significant for them. One on yeah. the Void and the Timber, two of the more important heroes. Mm -hmm. Planet. And they may find themselves Planet as well with the power shot. They will. Planet down. What does Whisper have? Going for the Spirit Vessel here. Not too surprising against the double heal void and Timbersaw. <laughs> Curious to see what Pakaz will go for. Has the Echo Saber queued up right now. He does have an SF on his team, so we might see him go for more of a fighting build. Mm -hmm. Quite surprised they... Uh, I, I don't think we spoke about it, but the fact that they have themselves the Venomance of position 3 as well. Instead of putting a uh, Wind Ranger transition to this position free, they might find why. He's trying to attempt to run away here. Oh no, get stunned by the Centaur. Uh, are they still going to leave the kill here for Chris? Yes, they are. Chris will be able to get that. That will really help him with uh, the time that he's been having on the mid lane. It hasn't been too great, especially with the uh, the death that he uh, had there on the mid lane just a couple of minutes ago. So a very interesting go from oh, why. No top. Oh, was not able to get the timber chain off there onto the trees. And it's a killing spree for Pakaz. As the ancient seal also helped there to silence up the timber saw. So yeah. I need to come back now on these lanes, EGR. Yeah, their lanes look better. New with better. the two deaths kind of hurting him a lot. It's just the nature of the matchup. At some point, Monkey does kind of kick you out by his own. And we've already got an Oblivion staff on the way for Picasso. I like to see nothing to say, kind of make a move, or his team to move to him at least, because Shiro and you nice are not having there. a good time. Shiro on the bottom, he may fall here. So the Ancient Seal is there, taken Pakaz out. Meanwhile, the, the mid lane as well. The top lane, sorry, Pakaz able to get a double battle strike there, but will still fall nonetheless. From a three-man gank. It's a good trade. It's taken out. Good trade for them. Carry for carry. It does open tower pressure top though with the timber saw. Not sure the siege in the bottom is still alive, but it looks like both teams are not too interested to defend. Yeah, so a siege creep in bottom lane is dead, so they might not even get a trade here if someone chooses to defend. New with his Vanguard can definitely choose to go to bot lane if he wants to, but he is only level 5. Oh. Pakaz is uh, on his own top as well. Nothing to say, not too far away. Actually might close in the gap here. They might go in for a kill. Yeah, they are. Nothing to say coming forward there, being able to root up Pakaz on the mid on the top. They do find the kill on mid lane onto Shiro. 
Hakas. And again, so. carry for carry. Carry for carry. Void has the Midas queued up. Doesn't really have a place to go to right now. That's, it. That's the second time a carry has been committed. Oh, no. Get them able to get themselves the Ancient Seal. But not enough damage there. Take down nothing to say. We'll survive through it all. Just going to Remnant and TP away. We'll come back. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. How are you feeling about it? It, it did look like EG were having a nice time on the uh, the side lanes, but now it's kind of uh, falling back a bit again now. I just don't really know like if Shiro can come back into this oh, game. God. Yeah, they're going for Pekars again. Well, well they may the be chain. able to turn it around, getting slowed down by the Fire Spirits. Attempting now to run away, Monkey King. Fairy Fire really used. Is it going to be enough to get away? Able to dodge it with a mischief, but it's not going to be enough. Matthew's they will find the Monkey King once again. Meanwhile, though, the Ancient Seal there onto the Ember. They will trade. They'll actually find two there and take down the Witch Doctor as well. Both why? Nothing to say. Fallen with a rotation there from C Smile. Chris Look able to get himself a double kill. Yeah, a bit of a deep dive there from LG. Something we're a bit not used to seeing, but they really wanted the Pakas kill. They want to keep him down, let Shiro catch up, and... You know when you run at people's carries, they tend to react to you. New here. Still level 6. Do they have any ancient stacks? They do not, so it's kind of uncommon. It's gonna have some issues getting levels. It really seems that way as well. Only um, level six here on the Timbersaw compared to level eight on Whisper. And we have ourselves a spirit vessel as well. On the way, there's a smoke coming out from both Matthew and Panda here wanting to try and find planet. They will be able to find the Phoenix. Slowed down there along with the Ancient Seal as well. And the Shackle Shot will be enough to take down the pesky Phoenix. Yeah, but Vessel charges as well for the Metal Mancer. They'll probably look to go to the mid lane soon. They should keep fighting with this. Echo Sabor and Pakaz yeah. as well. They will find the bottom tower as well with a siege creep rotating in there at around about the 10 minute mark. And that's the bottom tier 1 tower gone. Ooh, they want in return, SF. though, we've got three here from LGD attempting to try and take down the SF. A nice Requiem there, which will buy some time for the TPs to come back and maybe perhaps well, turn it around. There's now, oh, that's a lovely agency along with the silence as well. Along with that Mystic Flare and a raise will be enough to take nothing to say down. As Pakas rotate again here as well. They find the Witch Doctor. That's two down. A lovely shackle shot onto the timber. That's three dead. As EG. Lovely reactions there from the initiation onto Chris Locke. The rotations and the turnarounds from EG. They come out on top and looks like here they'll be able to find themselves a middle tier one tower as well. Yeah, they're so greedy by that thing to say. Just didn't want to. Walk to the right, just wanted to throw Remnant, maybe get a nice slide of Fist Force, but Panda just catch him off with the silence and they end up paying very heavily for that. 5k gold lead after the laning phase LGD had. It's, I guess it's really just kind of Shiro and New. they don't have a place to play. We see this Timbersaw has been jungling for the past 3-4 minutes. Yeah, it's not the best. Still level 6 as well. Just about to get level 7, but still it's... It's really troublesome when you're this underleveled as a Timbersaw. Like, usually at the first like 15 minutes of the stage, you want to be absolutely hammering into them as that's really Timbersaw's spike. But um, unfortunately for New, he's uh, been pushed out here by the Monkey King quite a few times. Even though that they have been able to get the kill quite a lot, I, I think there's just been quite a lot of people on the top lane in order to get those kills. And with that, he's kind of suffered in regards to the uh, the XP game. As you can see here, this was the moment that they did indeed get themselves that wipe there. They should just melt it so fast. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, EG feeling really strong right now. Chris Luck, um, Chris Smile almost has his BKB done. And Pakaz has his on his way too. I'm not sure if LG can find the levels they need and that works oh, to shot. come back. Mid lane. They get themselves the Mystic Flare along with the Ancient Seal as well. Is this enough to take down? Oh, enough to say wow. yes it is. 
just on like a minuscule amount. Could have maybe perhaps used Slice the Fist and Remnants it out there, but unfortunately the damage was too much again from EG. No, Meanwhile, they may have found themselves Shiro as well. The Chrono will be committing, and look at all this damage coming out here from the Spirit Vessel. They may actually be able to turn it around here as the Supernova, it does indeed come out. The Silence is there though, onto the Faceless Void. It will be a trade for a trade. The Supernova will connect onto two. Panda now in some trouble. Will be slowed down there by the Icarus Dive, and that is the Scarif Mage down also. But it will be a very worthy kill there on to the faces. Oh, no one uh, knew. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Pakaz is waiting for him. He gets off. Saw him jump, though. He's he goes the other way. Uh oh. He may be in some trouble. They're going to go for him now. Battle Strike is there. Though Y is in the back lines ready with the heals. Hasn't actually leveled a uh, paralyzing cask here, Adam. Has actually yeah, gone. Uh, very oh, interesting, Bill wants to help his friends out don't need no stuns right now need healing Shiro especially Matthew almost catching up in his net worth that's the Midas so the road to recovery begins the road to recovery how, how long do you think this recovery will take about 40 minutes <laughs> I mean I feel like he's uh, is really it, is... just out to get him right now that they're gonna hit this double BKB timing and I feel like Shiro needs to participate in fights, you know, as poor as he is, because the crossfire is a big part of the draft. He needs to protect the egg, enables the death ward and the timber saw to do damage, so... Yeah, well, meanwhile, they found themselves a shackle shot here onto the timber saw new. It's actually going to run forward here and maybe perhaps buy some time for the rest of LGD to try and escape and disengage. As they will do indeed, they'll only find the timber saw. There's... It looks like, um... We also have new opting here to get a Yule Scepter. So try and get some sort of dis, uh, some per is it is it purge? We'll just try and cancel out the yeah this. But why couldn't I find the word for that? <laughs> I couldn't remember Debuff. the word. Debuff dispel, yeah, the spirit vessel. It's actually becoming quite troublesome here. I think the uh, the pick up on the spirit vessel here was really really nice here for us. Yeah, EG playing their draft very well. Just. Kind of oh, putting BKB pressure on minutes. Yeah. double BKB as well. Double BKB. I, I don't even know if they needed this. I feel like Pakas could oh buy that soul and have the same kind of impact. But DG really want to win this game, pushing the lead even more. And I don't really know what LGD can do here. It feels like they have to find a way to take a fight or just split push. But right now, it's it's so hard because of Aegis. Like you want to be able to fight Rosh. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. They found themselves the top tower as well. EG. Just pushing Dyer's in with the catapult as well, top. Dyer's bottom so let's tower take over LGD's Rain's side of the jungle. As now with uh, Chris Locke having this BKB as well, he's uh doesn't fear anything anymore with all the magical damage that was being outputted here by LGD. I think Monkey King and SF are completely safe for a couple of minutes with this nine second BKB. Yeah, but the amount of map EG has right now is crazy. They can literally walk into LGD's jungle if they want to. Just gotta mm -hmm. let this Whisper Veno apply pressure by himself and eventually a reaction will come. Just taking their triangle by himself while EG sweep to the bot lane, but LGD again, good at dodging. Read the map well and they're out of there. I mean, they're doing that right now as C Smart will uh, go top. Check the top wave. Just a small amount of jungle for LGD to try and work with. They need some time now to just try and not go into these fights. Maybe perhaps just find some pick offs here and try and farm up themselves. Because they are not in a stage right now to take these team fights, especially with these BKBs. They need, they need to uh, try and force these BKB usages. They are going to be able to get themselves a Roshan here, EG, with the, uh, the spike that they have. I'm not really sure if they can contest here, and I don't think they will. They're finding it quite difficult to actually take down the Roshan. It's okay, they have Razors, they'll go down eventually. I think it's just an objective on the map, they want the Aegis for the SF to deal with the multiple big spells on LGD. And 
It looks like they're gonna get it for pretty much nothing. No real trade or loss of any tower coming out. So, uh, there it goes. Aegis in the hands of actually Picasso. Dyer's bottom tower. They do find themselves Panda though, coming through the portal. The twin gate. This may be Scarif dead. It is indeed. The Maledict they might find the kill. Chrono being committed along with the Supernova as well. They will find the kill down to Venomancer as well, but the Supernova will be taken out. It'll be a two for one. As why? Oh, he tried to go through the twin gate there, but was cancelled by the Balance Strike. And it will be a two for two. Well, not that bad. Some spells used. They do force EG to come to the bottom of the map. Do not lose their faceless void for once. And yeah, glimmer of hope for LGD, I guess. And I say that by look on look at Pakaz and he almost has this death soul. SF level 15 now as well. They're gonna melt through buildings so fast. I mean especially with the aura there. Presence of the Dark Lord. Minus seven. I wonder if he'll go the uh, the presence aura effects buildings or the shadow rays damage. I think in this game you take aura effects buildings. You're just yeah, so I, far I, I, ahead. I it's usually what you go most of the time, right? Yeah, I think most people play this Dragon Lancer SF BKB as a tower siege. Which is very oh, interesting to me that you think is ooh. Pinged him, but he, he, he's too he's too close to his tower. Yeah, casual pings, friendly pings. That's the egg screwed up me. So it wants to be a body for his team. Maybe help his faceless boy get a shackle. Oh, lovely shackle, along with the mystic flare and the ancient seal. They find a very very successful kill within a matter of seconds onto the timber sword. This is their offlane. And it gets decimated in perhaps two seconds. Yeah, New has not been having a good game. I was really impressed with his laning phase. And then he died Radiant's once and it was kind of downhill from there. EG on their hand, so aggressive. They look so much Easy so much cleaner in this game. They didn't do too well in lanes and you know they made the right moves. And they're back. Yep. Radiance middle tower has fallen. There's only a maelstrom and a Midas, as of this moment in time, on Shiro. Trying to get some net worth back. He's around about 2k behind uh, both the Shadow Fiend and the Monkey King right now. So, Faces Void still really needs some breathing room in order to try and come back and start dealing havoc within the future of these ongoing team fights. Meanwhile, they have found themselves nothing to say. We'll just be able to remnant away on the top and TP out. Meanwhile, they will be able to find themselves a Tormentor as well here on LGD. Small victories, but their map is still getting smaller and smaller. Prakas finishing the Deso. He's so strong right now, almost L15. Well, yeah. They've actually smoked up here on 12 GD. Just sitting behind the Faceless Void right now, they will find. See, Smile knew not wanted to get anywhere near that level 17 SF with now a Manta style. They say that, him? but they look they're like they're going. Him. They're chasing him. The BKB is there. The TP comes out from the Witch Doctor. Y is gone. I mean, at least they force out a BKB there. So if they are going to siege high ground, they have to be a little bit careful here on the Shadow Feed in particular. They force EG off the bottom lane as well. EG kind of chasing them. I like to see him just siege high ground with that soul and that's a four up, but uh oh, Shiro. Shiro. Oh, he's revealed himself in the creep wave, the blink forward, along with the shackle shot as well. There's no follow-up damage. There's only Matthew here. He's trying to focus in with the focus fire. I mean the silence was there as well. From the ancient seal, there's still no damage. But Shiro's gonna try and turn this around now with a chronosphere. Now do they have themselves enough damage? The damage has been taken too much there from Shiro will fall. There's the egg will also be dished out as it'll be a two for one that's not a that's not pretty good there for lgd that's supernova down chrono down as well i think uh, eg definitely have an opening right now to get themselves a set of racks yeah you can't be losing shiro like that he's the only hero in this game that cannot be dying it's just getting further and further behind eg just 
way too strong right now. So now they come to the high ground. They have themselves the glyph. We'll force it out. But I definitely think they are in no threat to leave right now. They are more than happy to stay here, EG. I mean, the Aegis is going to expire, but so what? Supernova and Chronosphere is down for around about two minutes. They haven't a care in the world. And they're going to try and dish out these racks right now. Try and take them out. It's up to uh, Planet and Near right now to fire out their spells to try and push them away along with nothing to say with the Slight of Fist as well. They have very nice high ground defense here. They lost them. They know the corner still down there as well as the Exo. Yeah. He's not too worried. We'll at least get the range strikes here. Pakas coming forward there. Balance Strike onto Radiant nothing to say, but no follow up. They've lost the range racks. They have to be careful. It's now the shack shot there. Oh, it oh, connects onto along with the Rec Room as well. Nothing to say. It's going to be taken out. Planet will have to Icarus dive away. They will lose nothing to say along with the top set of racks. With that, EG. Very happy with that successful attack. And they will back themselves off. Resustain in their spells. And the mana in HP. Yeah, now we're fleet goes LGD they are in a very tight spot right now. Shiro goes for the BKB instead of the Milner. I feel like he needed this, but yeah, it's also I, I not like what his team needs right now. His team needs big I, boy items. I mean, every time he chronos, he's it, it, it just, it just taking so much damage within it. it. It's all the magical damage. Yeah, it really is. I guess he's. I guess it's fine to chrono and do less damage because of the Phoenix and Witch Doctor, but EG just feel too far ahead right now. Yeah. If he can just get himself to level 20 as well, just five more levels remaining where he does get the uh, the 95 plus attack speed during Chronosphere, I think it will really definitely help. And by that time, he may have himself a Milne as well. They just need to survive LGD. Speaking of that, the, uh, the Tempestor top is decimated with a Mystic Flare. Combined with a Shackle Shot and the Ancient Seal. Just so much magical damage being dished out there from the Skyrim. Double damage Monkey King. Still has the Jingle Charge. He's hunting here. Oh, why you smile? Yeah. Okay, Shira's gone. And why? He's definitely dead here. The Battle Strike double damage. 1,500 crit. Literally deleted. The thing is, with uh, with the fact that they don't have themselves very much levels or net worth, LGD, even though they die, they can just come back within a matter of 30 seconds. They come back straight away. Almost oh. straight away. I wonder if EG is going to look to fight here without Aegis. Pakas has been posturing very aggressively. Oh, we have ourselves a Satanic Satanic. as well. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. Are they, they going to survive through this? I, I'm... I'm not sure. I think this is just going to be sit high ground or get a pick off. I'm not sure here. Uh, it looks like they're waiting for Roshan. Grow their advantage even more. Why not? I mean, Roshan's back up in 10 seconds as well. Going to be spawning top. There it is. We'll, we'll see if uh, EG now decide to actually bat themselves off and here for the Roshan. Interestingly, LGD, they're going to go come up for a smoke here. May perhaps try and find themselves Pakaz or Matthew. There's a smoke coming forward. I think News just had his smoke broke. Along with Shiro as well. Realizing that someone was in the trees there. But very nice escape then from Pakaz. Especially with the tree dance as well. Was not able to catch that Monkey King. We do have an Agnim slowdown on the Timber Sword. Plugs, of course, upgrading that reactive armor. So we'll see how well this will be. How yeah. well it'll become versus EG. He was not part of the smoke, but he did show a bit too aggressively. I think it wasn't too hard for EG to read that. LGD also very limited in where they can go on the map right now. They need to save a smoke for Roshan. I say a bit. Roshan is dying to EG. Very slowly, yes, indeed. but he's dying. Yeah, there's nothing really much LGD can do. In that situation, they have to let them have the Roshan. There it is. Aegis now in the hands of 
the SF with a Satanic. This man is looking scary. Really scary on the Shadow Keep. So we've got Assault and Agnims as well on Whisper. So if he is taken out, Poison Nova, the old ultimate, will be coming out. He can do whatever he wants at this point. I'd like to see a Shiva maybe against all the heals. I don't know, just go all in and you know, buff your Monkey King SF. I feel like this Aegis is your timing. Buy something that you want to go with now. I think we have Solar Crest on Wind Ranger as well. Almost done. Dyer's yeah, they are so strong. Attack. I mean, interestingly, Shiro here, I don't know if he's going to go for a Mask of Madness here. He's got it in his quick buy. He's actually going to go for this Milnir here instead. As meanwhile, we may need to hurry back quickly because we've got ourselves Chris hammering into this tier 3 middle tower right now. It's falling, it's falling, and it's gone. I have to say has to be careful as well here. Because he wants to try and use Tree Dance here and try and land off a Boundless Strike here onto the Ember Spirit. If he's able to get that, then it could be devastating. Oh my gosh, look at all that damage. Nothing to say has to be careful. Meanwhile, though, they're actually going to go for Kukaz here with the Chrono as well. Will they be able to take him out in time with the Supernova coming out also? Going to try and focus that egg. Have they got themselves enough damage? There they have it. Monkey King will actually fall here. They get themselves a kill. Maybe perhaps Whisper as well. Whisper's going to fall, but that Poison Nova will have a big effect here onto LGD. But the Voodoo Restoration is actually keeping them alive. Slowly but surely, it will be a two for two. Shiro is in some trouble there from the massive physical damage there of C Smile. They will lose three here on LGD. There's just no way they kill this SF. It was a really nice smoke for him catching Pakaz. He caught the Witch Doctor in the corner as well. I actually thought Pakaz would survive there, but Phoenix does way too much damage. So now they clear out the middle set of racks and they head for the bottom now. Supernova is still on cooldown for about a minute. It will force out a lift. Really, see Smile does not have a care in the world. Chris Look just hammering into the last objective which will obtain then the Mega Creeps. The Timber Sword coming in soon. They try and get a kill here. I mean, there's still an Aegis here on an SF. The Satanic is there. There's meanwhile nothing to say, trying to get into the back lines here. Oh, oh no, no. But the Shackle Shot. Is this going to be enough to take down? Nothing to say, just able to use the Yules there before the Fear attack there from the Necromastery comes off. There's still Ember Spirit will fall. Does have the buyback available. Chrono's Fear, it's still down for a minute. Though Supernova is going to come off cooldown in around about 10 seconds. They still have this bottom set of racks, but Sea Smile is just still hammering into them. Look at this damage here and double shackle shot as well. This may be the Timber Sword dead. Timber Sword just able to use up, but they find themselves the kill onto the Faceless, along with the Witch Doctor and the Timber Sword as well. No back by fear for the Faceless Void as the Phoenix is taken out. Down for 70. GG is called. And EG will be able to win themselves this second game and make it a 1 1. And did Pakaz ever use Wukong this game? I feel like he's been right clicking and right clicking. I've not seen the Wukong come out. He used it when he was chronoed. He used it when he was chronoed. The defensive I, I think Wukong. That's the, only time I saw it. the defensive Wukongs. But yes.